ancient wisdom, mysteries whispered through time, echoes of forgotten knowledge. The phrase, as above, so below, stands as a testament to this, a concept as old as civilization itself. It speaks to a fundamental truth, a cosmic connection between the realms of existence, from the vast expanse of the heavens to the intricate workings of our own being. This principle has captivated minds for centuries, philosophers, theologians, alchemists, all drawn to its profound implications. It suggests a mirroring effect, the macrocosm reflected in the microcosm, the universe within us and us within the universe. This ancient wisdom is not merely an abstract concept, it is a guiding principle, a key to understanding the universe and our place within it. It offers a framework for interpreting the interconnectedness of all things, a map to navigate the complexities of existence, a tool for self-discovery and spiritual growth. The phrase, as above, so below, invites us to look beyond the surface, to delve into the hidden depths of reality, to seek the connections that bind us to the cosmos. The phrase, as above, so below, finds its roots in Hermeticism, an ancient Egyptian philosophical and spiritual system attributed to Hermes Trismegistus, a legendary figure shrouded in myth and mystery. Hermeticism emphasized the interconnectedness of all things, the belief that the universe is a living, breathing entity infused with a divine spirit. This principle is encapsulated in the Emerald Tablet, an ancient Hermetic text that which is below corresponds to that which is above, and that which is above corresponds to that which is below, to accomplish the miracle of the one thing. These words speak to a fundamental truth. The universe is a reflection of itself on all levels of existence. From the grandest cosmic structures to the smallest subatomic particles, this mirroring effect suggests a profound interconnectedness a web of relationships that binds all things together. The hermetic principle of as above, so below is not merely a philosophical concept. It is a practical tool for understanding the world around us. By observing the patterns of the macrocosm, we can gain insights into the workings of the microcosm and vice versa. The phrase, as above, so below, resonated far beyond the confines of Hermeticism. Its influence can be seen in various disciplines. Alchemy, for instance, adopted this principle as a guiding tenet. Alchemists sought to transmute base metals into gold. They believed that by understanding the celestial influences on the material world, they could manipulate the elements to achieve their goals. The process of transmutation was seen as a microcosmic reflection of the macrocosmic processes of creation and transformation. Theology also embraced the concept of as above, so below. The idea of a divine plan governing the universe reflected in the lives of individuals found fertile ground in various religious traditions. The belief in a God who created humanity in his own image speaks to the mirroring effect between the divine and the human, the macrocosm and the microcosm. This theological interpretation of as above, so below highlights the interconnectedness between the spiritual and material realms suggesting that our actions on earth have repercussions in the heavens. The concept of as above, so below is intricately linked to the idea of the microcosm and macrocosm. The microcosm represents the individual human being, a miniature reflection of the universe, containing within itself all the elements and forces present in the macrocosm. The macrocosm, on the other hand, encompasses the entire universe, the vast cosmic expanse containing all things. This mirroring effect between the microcosm and macrocosm suggests that, by understanding ourselves, we can gain a deeper understanding of the universe and by observing the workings of the cosmos, we can gain insights into our own nature. This dance of reflections highlights the interconnectedness of all things, the idea that we are not isolated beings but rather integral parts of a larger interconnected whole. The microcosm and macrocosm are not separate entities, but rather two aspects of the same reality. 
The phrase, as above, so below, continues to resonate in modern thought. Its influence can be seen in various fields, from psychology and philosophy to spirituality and self-help. Take Carl Jung, for instance, who drew upon this principle in his theory of archetypes. These are universal patterns of thought and behavior present in the collective unconscious. Jung believed that these archetypes were reflections of universal principles manifesting in the individual psyche. The principle of as above, so below also finds expression in modern spirituality. Many spiritual traditions emphasize the interconnectedness of all things. The belief that we are all part of a larger web of life. This interconnectedness is often seen as a source of strength and inspiration, a reminder that we are not alone in our journey. For many modern spiritual seekers, the phrase as above, so below serves as a guiding principle, a reminder to seek the divine within themselves and in the world around them. The phrase as above, so below has also permeated popular culture, appearing in films, literature and music. The film As Above, So Below, for instance, explored the depths of the Parisian catacombs, using the phrase as a metaphor for the psychological underworld, the idea that the horrors we encounter in the external world are reflections of our own inner demons. The phrase also appears in various literary works, often used to symbolize the interconnectedness of different realms of existence, the idea that the physical world is merely a reflection of a deeper spiritual reality. Musicians have also incorporated the phrase into their lyrics, using it to evoke a sense of mystery and wonder. The enduring presence of As Above, So Below in popular culture speaks to its enduring power, its ability to resonate with audiences across generations and cultures. The phrase, as above, so below, continues to captivate minds today. Its enduring allure lies in its ability to connect us to something larger than ourselves, to remind us that we are part of a vast and intricate universe. This phrase offers a sense of meaning and purpose, a framework for understanding our place in the grand scheme of things. The principle of, as above, so below, invites us to look beyond the surface of things, to seek the hidden connections that bind all things together. It encourages us to explore the depths of our own being, to discover the microcosm within and to connect with the macrocosm without. This ancient wisdom serves as a guiding light for our journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. In a world often characterized by fragmentation and isolation, the phrase, as above, so below, offers a powerful antidote. It reminds us of our interconnectedness, our shared humanity, our connection to the natural world. This timeless principle is as relevant today as it was centuries ago. The principle of, as above, so below, challenges us to look beyond our individual perspectives, to consider the impact of our actions on the world around us. It encourages us to live in harmony with nature, to recognize the interconnectedness of all living things. This ancient wisdom provides a framework for ethical and sustainable living, a reminder that our actions have consequences, not only for ourselves, but for the planet as a whole. The phrase, as above, so below, is more than just a catchy phrase. It is a profound statement about the nature of reality, a reminder that the universe is a reflection of itself on all levels of existence. This principle invites us to look within, to discover the universe within ourselves and to recognize our connection to the cosmos. The phrase, as above, so below, is a call to action, an invitation to live in alignment with the cosmic order, to recognize that our thoughts, words and actions have power to create positive change in the world around us. This ancient wisdom continues to inspire and guide us as we navigate the complexities of the 21st century. It reminds us that we are not alone, that we are part of something much greater than ourselves and that we have the power to make a difference in the world. As within, so without.